I don't know. It was, we called it the sort of Jedi mullet, you know? If they find us, they will crush us, grind us into tiny pieces and blast us into oblivion. Yeah, I just, I remember the, the, the idea of it being shot. I don't know where that came from, whether it was already established that that was a Padawan haircut. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think they were looking for, like, in, in, the, in a military sense or in, a, in, the, in the world of monks, you know, that, that there's, a, there's, a, there's some sort of, um, what do you call it, sacrifice, hairstyle sacrifice in order to be a Jedi. You, I, I mean, I guess, you know, to become a Jedi, you have to give up the idea of being married or, you know, you're, you're, there's some sort of monk-like qualities that are similar. And I think the hairstyle is one, you know, in many religious orders, the hair, the head has to be shaved or, and um, so they, that's what they did. I'm actually sporting sort of quite similar now. If I had a little braid here, I'd be almost back to where we were, back to square one. And you're sure there's nothing left on board? A few containers of supplies. The Queen's wardrobe, maybe, but not enough for you to barter with. Not in the amounts you're talking about. So it was a short haircut. It was, wasn't was as short as this, but it was pretty short. And we had a braid that was stuck into my hair every day. But I, I liked it. I liked the look of it. What I didn't like very much in episode one was when we came back. To, we, there was always like a period of time after the main shoot where we came back to do some reshoots. And for episode one, it was months, six, seven, eight months after the principal photography, we had to come back and we, I was doing something else and I couldn't, I couldn't cut my hair. And also I was clean shaven and I couldn't grow a beard because I was working on another project. And um, so they made a wig that was a short hair wig, which is the worst kind of wig. You know, if you've got a wig and it's long hair, you can disguise the fact that it's a wig, but when it's a short hair wig, it's a nightmare. And um, some bright spark decided to put me on a poster in the wig. Like they picked an image of me from the reshoots and I saw myself on this huge poster in the wig. And I'm like, are you kidding? You can't, you couldn't find a still of me when from the real shoot. I mean, they did the best they could, I guess at the time, but it was, but just, it's difficult to, to hide longer hair under a wig. It's pr pretty much impossible. I was beginning to wonder if you'd got my message. I retransmitted it just as you would request it, Master. Then we decided to come and rescue you. Good job. I don't know. It was, we called it the sort of Jedi mullet, you know? It's kind of cool. It's kind of, it could be in some second degree way a little cool, but not really. It was, it, it was, it was very mullety and um, sort of quite inspired pretty much by the Bee Gees, I think, really. Jedi Bee Gees. So, yeah, it wasn't my, I didn't like it very much, um, but there is some sort of, I guess there's some sort of progression. Uh, Hayden had to go through a similar sort of progression with his hair, where it's shorter when you're a Padawan, then longer at the back. And then ultimately in episode three, we get onto a haircut which is more, um, which is it, it, which is heading more towards Alec Guinness in um, episode four. You know. Hello there. Well, this one was was definitely we were looking at pictures of Alec Guinness in episode four, and we were definitely trying to bridge that gap, you know, we knew this was the last, or at that point we thought this is the last we're gonna see of Obi-Wan Kenobi before before he's Alec Guinness. And so we're sort of moving in that direction. We put some graying in, I, don't, we, I wouldn't need to today, but we put some graying in here. We we grayed up the beard a little bit, I think. Um, and it was more, it was a short, much shorter haircut. It was also to show a bit more age that he was, I think, I think the episode two haircut was meant to be like warrior and the episode three haircut was meant to be more master, you know, uh, teacher. So um, I think that was the, that was certainly that my 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 idea was definitely to try and get closer to Alec Guinness was to try and show that that's where I was headed. So we find Obi-Wan at the beginning of our story 
Yeah, it's a longer haircut. I think it's it's um, a man who's been sort of not looking after himself so much. And uh, I wanted a much more sort of unkempt look, like, um, you know, where Obi-Wan starts at the beginning of that story is pretty, he's pretty hopeless. He's, he's without hope, he's without faith. Yeah, I wanted this sort of hair and beard to sort of represent that. So it's much more uh, rather broken and faithless and uh, beaten, uh, somewhat given up.